Hello friends. Today I am going to show you another interesting feature. How accountant or cashier can reconcile their cash balances. So right now in my cash channel I have 704 as a balance. Throughout the day I am going to collect more cash money in terms of cash from our customer. Okay. So let's say I'm collecting money 210 from my customer in my cash account. So this is the first payment. Then I will create another okay. So on like I am collecting cash payment. So in my journal, I can see outstanding payment or receipt is 735. If I click here, right, and then this 735 will be part of my balance over here. 525 plus 210 is debited in outstanding receipt account. Likewise, I'm still going to collect more cash money. So, so this is all <coughs> my payment I have collected in my cash account. At the end of the day, the cashier has to verify 5,985 is the total amount I have collected so far now. And then they wanted to reconcile because you can see likewise bank it is still having the outstanding receipt lying in the outstanding receipt account only. Okay, and 704 is my opening balance for that day when I started my cash counter or business. So simply uh, we can create like 5985. Click over here and create a new balance like cash sales. And once I click over here, I will select the counterpart whatever payment I have collected. So this is all CSH1 to CSH1, you know, 13, 14 uh, and 12 I have collected so far from the day and it will match the balance. So this part has to be done by cashier or accountant to validate how much sales I have done and how much is in my cash counter in my desk. And then I will simply validate this and that's how we can have a cash reconciliation. Likewise, the bank and the amount balance in GL will be updated 6689 after all the transactions, right? So this is how we can do our cash reconciliation within Odoo by this way. And that will ease a lot of people's, you know, a lot of accountant and cashiers uh, hassle to maintain and verify the balance at the end of day. And next day when they start, they will have some balance in the GL, which they start with off, and then they can start their business day and collect more cash payment and also send to vendor. Okay. If you want to see how I'm doing again, let's say from customer one, I'm collecting payment in my cash counter. So this is 210 and same way to vendor if I'm paying from the same counter. Okay, let's say 50 plus taxes. Okay. So vendor two and I'm registering payment in my cash. So 
so here i have collected cash payment and as well as i have made the cash payment at the end of day i have 157.50 balance so now again i am going into here cash and then create my balance yes sales and payment and counterpart i will select both the transaction and then it will match and then i simply validate so the same way now your ledger balance will be updated with the rest of the balance so this is a very simple way you can open your cash uh, reconciliation window from here and mark all your cash transaction either receipt of payment either uh, you know paying to the vendor transactions hope this small uh, help small thing will help a lot of cashier and accountant thank you